All right, guys, what is up? And today I'm coming at you with a little bit of an interesting opening video on something old I've had in my collection for quite some time now, and that is the uh, Structure Deck Dinosaur's Rage uh, special set. Uh, yeah, story behind this, I actually found this at uh, my local Toys R Us, which like randomly carries like just odd, off the wall, old school products. Like you'll go in there sometimes and see like Structure Decks and like booster packs and like Mega Tens from like the 5Ds or like the GX era. Uh, this is back when they carried like a ton of GX stuff. Like you go in here and find like one, like you could find a couple like old structure decks like these, and more often than not, like when they randomly had tactical evolution packs. Like you guys remember, uh, whenever they did have tactical evolution like repackaged blisters, where the backgrounds were just like this blue and white like kind of sparkly background. Where like it wasn't official, but they were always unlimited tactical evolution packs. Oh, one day I made some friends. We stopped in there before locals, and I actually found one of these. And just like saw it sitting on the shelf and I was like, holy crap, that's pretty old school. I remember getting one of these as a kid. Uh, but what's special about, or the reason I decided to open this one is just because uh, this one I figured wouldn't really be worth that much. And seeing as how uh, Dino's One Worlds, it'd be kind of funny just to open up this. But you can see on the side it said, is it, bleh, bleh, if I can talk today, it includes the unstoppable five headed dragon with 5,000 attack details on back. Uh, and yeah, it is first edition. Uh, the little seals on there, uh, uh, you can see it kind of has this cool foiling to it. You can kind of see the camera in the reflection. Uh, but these stickers uh, had come undone like in the store. Uh, but nothing has been tampered with, I'm hoping. Uh, it says on the back, uh, the special set includes uh, the Dinosaur's Rage Structure Deck, uh, Ruba Game Mat Dueling Guide, a Power of the Duelist pack, and one exclusive Ultra Rare card. And 500 Dragon Ultra Rare and one Power of the Duelist to power up this deck. So, uh, Power of the Duelist has like a bunch of like old Dino support, and they just randomly have a five-headed dragon in there for like no reason. Uh, there's the set list uh, on the back. Let's see if you guys can uh, zoom in and see what decent stuff is in there uh, basically like not really any like I guess hydro get on oxy get on I guess for the uh, upcoming uh, water dragon support in the TCG uh, so that's kind of cool uh, spell cards uh, I guess there's uh, there's an MST and a heavy storm if that was legal lightning vortex kind of outdated magical mallets kind of random uh, then for the traps we have a gate attack and yeah I guess that's really it uh, there's the old uh, upper deck logo, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we can get out of our one pack of Tech Evolution. Oh, and this is also a uh, experience level, so uh, I thought it was kind of funny how they always put those on the uh, old Star Decks. That's really dusty. Oh uh, yeah, the box is really like in good shape, so I figure if it's going to be a collector that ends up getting this, they're going to want the box in good condition with the labels being undone. I figured uh, not really worth that much uh, so we have the packaging uh, there's the deck and on the other side we have our five-headed dragon which is uh, just kind of floating around there and then there's our power of the duelist pack and our old uh, game mat so uh, yeah let's pop this open and get a whiff of that old uh, when was this made uh, let's see I don't see a date on there uh, see is there a date on there uh, I'm not seeing one, so, uh, when was the GX era, like, what, 2004, uh, maybe like 2005-ish, something like that, so that old, uh, early 2000s, so we'll get a crack and see if we do that old meme where, uh, you smell the air that I've done on the channel a couple times. So, wow, this packaging's, like, stuck in there pretty good. Just, like, that nostalgic smell of, like, uh old Yu-Gi-Oh packs so there is our uh, five-headed dragon for some reason that we need in a dinosaur deck uh, I guess that's where the experience part comes in is figuring out how to make a five-headed dragon efficiently in a dino deck uh, then we have our one pack of uh, power of the duelist uh, that is unlimited uh, so there's that and uh, then here's the old playmat yeah these are pretty old school oh, we'll fold that one out later and I guess here's like, uh, there's the deck list, and then there's a combo guide uh, to boost up your ult or a super conductor Tyrano, not ultimate conductor Tyrano, and then Tyrano Infinity, which you can now just like spit out with uh, 
Miscellaneousaurus and uh, Solating Oviraptor uh, a lot easier, but back then it was like a lot slower, just like the rest of the game. Uh, it tells you how to use the deck. Disrupt your opponent, wait for the chance. Hyper Hammerhead, Mesmeric Control, Seismic Shockwave, Magic Arm Shield, Negate Attack, and Goblin Out of the Frying Pan, etc. So that's your disruption cards, I guess. Oh, uh, then here's the stuff to power it up, like Elemental Energy. There's, of course, the Water Dragon stuff. Uh, Cyber Knight Revolution, you can get a Dimension Wall, I guess. That's generic, and or another Tyranno Infinity. And then Power of the Duelist obviously has our Dino cards. I think Ultimate Tyranno comes in there as like a Super and maybe an Ultimate Rare. Uh, the Shadow of Infinity, just like random cards. Uh, the Dark Revelation, the Lost Millennium. Uh, nothing really special there. So uh, there's that. Rulebook version 6.0. So that's obviously a little outdated. Uh, you're not going to know anything about those white or black cards. So those are uh, those that haven't happened yet, according to this. Uh, then we have the uh, the deck itself. That's just kind of like the shrink wrap. Usually is like a lot tighter on these. But, uh, yeah, let's see, where's the tab on this, if it has one? I guess it doesn't have it. Uh, yeah, that was, like, one of the best inventions for these is, like, the pull tab, and, like, they randomly took those away, and then they brought them back. So, uh, yeah, watch me struggle with this packaging and try not to damage any of the cards inside. Yeah, with these, like, old, uh, structured decks, only got, like, one ultra rare. Uh, you didn't get like an ultra and like a few supers and how it is nowadays. Like nowadays, you get players are spoiled. Uh, let's see, I guess we pull it from right here. Uh, that's what I hate about this. It's like you risk damaging the cards. Like yeah, I know it's like a dinosaur structure deck from like 2005, I guess. Uh, but you never know. Sometimes with these, you find like really odd stuff. Like, you never know, some of the cards can be misprinted, like, uh, there was a guy I had posted on Zodiac, like, years ago, I remember this post, he'd went, gone to a flea market and found, like, a sealed, like, Portuguese Yugi starter deck, like, just the deck and the plastic wrapping, and, like, you could see on the top that, uh, there were some oddly colored cards, and you could see it from the side that, like, the edge was pink, so, like, his structure deck was, like, confirmed to have test prints in it, so he decided to keep it sealed. Even though, like, a ton of people, like, offered him, like, a ton of cash for it. But it was just something really cool to see, like, an off-the-wall collectible like this. So am I really going to, like, struggle this hard with, uh, opening a structure deck? I guess I am. That is the case. God, I wish this had the pull tab. Oh, I think we're making progress. Let me see. You know, we're going to take the risk and use a uh, sharp object. Okay, so we have made progress. I think we only damaged uh, maybe one of the cards on the back, it looks like, but uh, we got our deck open, so now we can play the current meta deck dinos. So let's see, pull the tab off of this. We'll pull the rest of the plastic off of it first. Well, they really do not want me to get into this, so. Uh, Two of our superconductor tyrant, which now has an upgraded form. Uh, once per turn, by tributing one monster, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. He can't attack the turn, use that effect. So you get burn damage, but a uh, 33 beat stick. Uh, okay, this is like still one of the decks were like out of order. So, uh, so we have an oxy get on, so that's a pretty good card. And we have goblin out of the frying pan, a counter trap, pay 500 life points, negate the activation of a spell card, and return it to the other's hand. So, uh, those random once per turn uh, spell cards. Uh, yeah, you can stop those with this. Just the mere cost of 500 life points. Uh, Baby Sterosaurus, which is actually like relevant. Tail Swipe, Tyranno Finny, which is also kind of a, uh, relevant. Uh, Jurassic World, Black Stego, Survival Instinct, and Magical Mallet. A good card back then. So we have a Hydro Get On. We have a Negate Attack, and it negates an attack. 
Uh, so I have an Ultimate Conductor, or Ultimate Tyranno, uh, Gilosaurus, Megamorph, Hunting Instinct, Heavy Storm, which is a staple back then. Cobblezols, if you play Dino Rabbit, uh, the random MST. So we got our two Hydro Guns and our one Oxy Get On, Mesmeric Control. Forget what this card does, I just remember the artwork. Uh, during your opponent's next turn, after you activate this card, your opponent can't change the battle positions of monsters except with the card effect. Neato. Uh, we have a Hyper Hammerhead, a Magical Arm Shield, uh, Black Terra, Volcanic Eruption, a little, uh, little, I guess, factory damage on there, a little dent on the card you can kind of see. Uh, Black Tyranno, Ririoku, another Hyper Hammerhead, uh, Sebex Blessing, a little blind splotch on there. Uh, Mad Sword Beast, Fossil Excavation, Lightning Vortexa, I guess a good staple for the deck. We have Sabersaurus, another Dino Rabbit card, uh, Magical Mallet, Seismic Shockwave, Miracle Jurassic Egg, that fat 2000 defense, Big Evolution Pill, Dark Dressaratops, and another Gillosaurus. So uh, that is our Dino Structure deck for uh, back in the GX era. So we'll take a look at our playmat. Uh, see, there's the old. Uh, Monster card zones, graveyard. Uh, they did change the spell and trap, but it is back whenever it said fusion deck. I don't think there's anything on the back. No, there's not. Uh, but have had a few of these where uh, they actually have like fake like uh, stuff print on the back. I may do a video on that later if you guys want to. But uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. To always have. Uh, and then the part you pro guys are probably all the way for is the actual uh, booster pack opening. So uh, yeah, the old uh, upper deck logo. But yeah, Power of the Duelist. These GX packs feel really weird and like, I guess, rubbery. They feel a lot different. And there's the old story for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. For those of you that want to pause and read that. Uh, let's see. Get a whiff of that old... We're going to assume it's 2005. That old 2005 era that's been sealed away in here. Let's see what we get. Uh, we have a D Spirit, a Chrysalis Dolphin, Black Patera, Flying Saucer Mooski, and oh, we got an Ultra. That's kind of neat. Uh, Elemental Hero Flare Neos. So, uh, one haul out of one pack. That's actually like really good for uh, back then where you're not guaranteed hollows and you only get a rare or a hollow. So, we have Fate Hero, uh, Alien Hunter, Brainwashing Beam, and Miracle Jurassic X. So, we got some dino support for our dino deck, but, uh, uh, yeah, nothing like, I guess, really relevant here. Like, from what I understand, I think the best card out of this set would be, like, a, uh, obviously, like, Ultimate Rare Chaos Neos, because, like, or Dark Neos, rather, because, like, the Hero Fusions always, like, retain value just because of collectability. Uh, I think, like, Overload Fusion, Chimera Tech, Fortress Dragon, or Chimera Tech, Over Dragon coming here as, as uh, Ultimate Rares, so, uh, uh, yeah, one Hollow, I guess we can put a sleeve on this. Do I have a sleeve handy? Pretty sure I do. So, yeah, we got a green sleeve right here to match our green pack, so, uh, put that in there, so, that's not too bad. Um, uh, but yeah, that was a fun little opening, figured you guys would probably enjoy this. I uh, kind of need something to open a little random nostalgic product, but uh, yeah, I actually do have a few more of these old like structure decks if you guys want me to crack into these. I have the uh, let's see here, we have the uh, Spellcaster's Command structure deck. Uh, this one probably not gonna be worth too much because the box is uh, smashed up. And then we have a sealed uh, 5D's starter deck, the one with Junk Warrior. This is like the 5D starter deck from whenever 5D's first began and introduced synchros. So, uh, uh this one would be pretty cool to open. So, if you guys want me to do uh, openings on these two, I can. Uh, but this one's kind of fun just because you get a booster pack, which is something I kind of wish they'd do with starter decks and structure decks uh, nowadays, is throwing like a free booster pack. So I know like Pokemon and Magic do that sometimes. Uh, but Yu Gi Oh! they've only done it with like this, to my knowledge. But, uh, uh, yeah, that was a pretty cool opening. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys later.